so I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog this week and I wanted to show you guys something I picked up. Don't mind the fact that the room's messy. I've got like yesterday's outfits on the floor and I need to make the bed. But I'm just getting ready for me now to pop to Barnes to have breakfast at Sunday. And these arrived in the post this week. Let me show you. <coughs> Can you guys see how gorgeous they're so comfy they're really nice like aubergine colour these would match my dad's sofa actually um and these are lululemon align leggings and i think the length is the 20 i can't remember i have to look at the listing i think it's either the 21 or the 25 but perfect length for me i'm 5'3 and my legs are really short um i yes yeah, so i got these on ebay for £29 and then I paid £3.50 postage. These retail new for like £78 to £98. Pounds. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it, I probably did. But these are the Align leggings. These are the ones I love from Lululemon. My kind of like yoga bra is Lululemon as well. And you can see how it crosses over at the back. Um, but these are so comfy and gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm never going to buy Lululemon leggings new again. These are really good condition. The person said that they... They were selling them because they got them too big. Um, one thing I would say is Lululemon sizes come in American. So before you look at buying them on eBay, I would say pop into a Lululemon shop and figure out your sizes. Because my Lululemon Align pant size is a 6. Whereas my UK size is like a 12 to 14. Um, don't mind the deodorant marks on my bra. Um, so yeah, size 6. And I think that's an American... 10 but they're super stretchy and really comfy and this is the size that i personally love um so great really happy with that definitely going to be looking for more options because these are just so good like look how comfy these are and they're just perfect for kind of going to the gym but also for popping out for breakfast obviously i'm going to put on a top um and i say obviously for reasons you guys won't know yet it's freezing here now don't understand why or how but it's like the 19th of June and it's like 14 degrees or something and it's just been raining for days. So I'm going to put probably like a little kind of finished jumper over the top of this and then also a raincoat because it's probably going to rain. But yeah, I wanted to show you that purchase because that was a great find and it's sustainable because I've rehomed someone else's stuff they don't want. So I'm feeling very happy with that. They're so comfy, like literally they're like the stretchiest things ever. It just feels like you have like skin support oh it's so nice okay all i did was add on top of this my olive sweatshirt which is a one size fits all um i don't think the sizing is very inclusive with olive the sweatshirts are quite nice i think this would fit up to like a 16 and it would maybe be more fitted on an 18 um but i'm just wearing this and i quite like these colors together and then i'll probably just put on my common projects um and then put my white raincoat over the top which let me show you that actually okay here it is this is from the theory h&m collection alan actually spotted this for me i didn't see it and then he pointed it out to me and i was like oh that's amazing um it is just so perfect i love the kind of oversized shape of it this is a i think it's a small um because it's oversized so i didn't want it to be too big so i got a small but like i said earlier i'm like a 12 to 14 um probably more 14 depends on what i'm buying but anyway love that and i don't know if it's still available but if it is i'll link it in the description box and yeah that is me good to go it's seven years old seven years old and a dragon below oh shit oh my god it literally jumped out <laughs> it jumped out of its bag Mm, that hot chocolate is so good. It's nice and warming on the throat because you know we've got itchy throat. Thank you. 
Okay, post coffee stop is across town. Right next door, they do the best donuts. So this area we're kind of walking around around the back of like Tottenham Court Road and Oxford Street is Fitzrovia. I've mentioned it in a couple of vlogs before, it's just such a nice area, especially like a kind of like it's 12 pm so it's midday on a Sunday. Um and because so many of this is quite an office y area, but so many of the offices are still working from home anyway, so even in the week it's not as busy as it used to be. But yeah, I mean on a weekend it's so lovely, so relaxing. Great shops around here, great places to eat. It's just really nice to walk around if you want to kind of like soak in London and enjoy different kind of architecture. I mean, you can see we've got a big glass building here. Some of it's quite modern, some of it looks quite old. I mean, these houses are incredible. Probably a lot of them are offices now, but some of them will still be houses. And I mean, they're just amazing. Look at them. Okay, we've made it to Van Moof. This is what their bikes look like, the electric ones. There's only one person allowed in the shop at a time. Alan's got a test drive at one. So we'll see him when he comes out, see how he likes it. So nice. Right, well Alan's got off on his test drive. I've got 25 minutes. And she might pop to Boots. So where am I going this way? I should go this way. Seeing as he's got 25 minutes, I might go look at some beauty bits, see what we find. Um, but the bike looks great. I think she said it goes up to 50 miles an hour, which is crazy. Um, if Alan decides to go that fast, I will be getting him a full body padded gear um, and a motorbike helmet. <laughs> but I don't think he'll go that fast. Um, he already does have a bike, he has a bike ID. But the reason he's thinking about getting an electric bike from Van Moof Van Moof, I think it is, is because he's going to start going to the office again soon. He doesn't want to get public transport and it's just a bit too far to cycle on his normal bike. And yeah, he thought he would look into this and he looked like a very happy bunny going off on his little test drive, which is great. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to wander around a bit. Just passing Neil's Yard, which is another great spot to go to um, if you want. That's just down there. Is a wrap on today's video guys it's a bit choppy a bit all over the place but i'm hopefully i'm hoping you enjoyed it nonetheless kind of got some london recommendations in there for you hopefully you can't hear the football in the background um but yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it next week we've got a really fun video which i was meant to upload last week and then i was meant to upload today but i got my timings all wrong but it will be going up next week and that is um I've gone mind blank. It's the Ned video. So two weeks ago, Alan and I stayed at the Ned, which is an incredible hotel in London. It's a five-star hotel, very luxurious. And we also went to Borough Market. So next Sunday, that will be up. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you next week. Bye.